Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dino Blog Number Two. I came to talk to y'all. We gotta get straight down to business. We're less than two weeks away from United States of America's presidential elections, and um, this is a critical time. Like, it's definitely the time. Like, who you with? Won't you give it up, man from the South Side of Chicago? South Side, give it up for Senator. The Rock, Obama. We got now. We got Obama and Biden. We got Obama and Biden, but we're not gonna talk about that. I do you think there's just one other issue that's big, and that is the decision-making process that went into this? I, I, I'm. A, this is the most single most important decision each candidate has to make before he becomes president. It reveals a lot about the person. The judgment of the person and how they go about making decisions. And I'm surprised, I'm deeply surprised that he's only met her once before he made the decision. He had one personal exposure. He had one phone call this past Sunday and then invited her to Sedona where they had a private meeting where he offered her the place on the table. I don't Absolutely. understand why, you know, she brings you any strength on questions of economic policy. At the time the country is in the, the, the worst financial crisis since the Depression, here's a woman who comes along who's, who, who is mayor of a, of a city of, of less than 8,000 people. I don't understand why she is the answer to figuring out how to deal with the economy. Thanks to technology, I was able to pull some facts up from about Sarah Palin. She sits, like, real comfortable in vice president spot. Like, she is someone that no one knew. Like, before McCain chose as vice president, am I right? Or am I wrong? Like, I found out since she took office in December 2006 that she charged her Alaskan government $21,000 for 64 one-way trips and 12 round trips commercial flights for her and her three daughters. Sarah Palin got kicked out of two community colleges, two state colleges, and it took her seven years to get her bachelor's. But on the other hand, Barack Obama is a Harvard grad. You know, America, I'm going to need you to do the right thing. Choose the right person. Put the right person in office. I ain't even going to tell y'all who to choose, but all the interesting facts that you found out today, I think you'll be able to choose the right person. I hope the spirit leads you to choose the right thing, do the right thing. You feel me? I'm going to need everybody in America to go out to the polls and record numbers. Like, I'm going to need y'all to bring your friends, bring your friends, friends, everybody you know that's registered to vote, because I am. I'm going in heaps. And I'm not even wearing no Obama pins. I'm not. I'm going to be incognito. Like, I mean, incognito. Because I'm not even trying to hear. I'm trying to sway no voters at the polls. I'm going in there. Make my decision. Voting for a change. Then, I'm going to celebrate at the end of the night. Because I know what time it is. Yo, everybody. November 4th, November 4th, I said November 4th, November 4th, I should see you at the polls, that's right, November 4th, show out to the polls, and vote for a change.